Yeah, so another day, another vlog. So this is vlog number six, and um, I met some people online, Beachcraft Spirits, they're calling up in Elgin in Scotland, and I've been interviewed them from a radio show. Check that uh, episode out. And it's crazy, isn't it, the old internet and get to know people because they are at Birmingham today uh, for um, the rum festival, because that's what they do, they're making rums in their distillery in Elgin. Um, and they're staying, at, they're staying hours, so uh, I packed them off before, they've, they've gone to the show now already, so I thought I'd go and surprise them, go and meet them, go and do a quick interview them, do this vlog as well, and see who else I can bump into. So, let's do this. So I've arrived here in Birmingham for the uh, Rum Festival. This must have been a, an old warehouse, look at the roof. Anyway, go to the event now. Go and uh, interview a few people. Go and see Lara and Dave, David from uh, Beachcraft Spirit. Let's do this. Love of the beach activities, water sports, but still affluent populations around. Um, a lot of our research has been on trends. Right. So here they are. Hiya. Introduce yourselves. Hi, I'm David. I'm Lara Beach. Uh, yeah. We are both from Beach Crest Spirits. Yeah. So obviously you've just watched, been watching them speak then. We sneaked up on them with the camera. <laughs> yeah. So we're going to have a look around the, um, around the Rum Festival, see what's going on. Let's, let's show everyone where we are. So this is where we are now, inside. Pretty busy. Um, this is in Birmingham, so it's open today, isn't it? Till what time's it open on tonight? About uh, it's going to go on till about 11:30, 12 at night. Please don't swear. I know. Hi, I'm Peter Holland. Uh, I have a website called The Floating Rum Shack, but this weekend I'm working on the Cellar Trend Stand at Rum Festival. All right. Well, uh, you can swear because it's only on Facebook. <laughs> Tell us, uh, show oh, us a couple. Mum might be watching. <laughs> oh, your mum might be watching. So Cellar, tr Cellar Trends have quite a wide range of rums on their portfolio. We have a spice rum from Barbados. Cool. Talk us through this one then. It comes with all manner of providence of which the website is well worth spending time with. What I'll say for, uh, for keep it simple is that it has a, a nice sweet, easy vanilla lead profile uh, with a particular banana note on the nose. Um, would you like to sample a wee bit? Uh, yeah, that, that kind of confectionery note. Banana. It's surprising how popular it's been. Oh my God, that is beautiful. How you doing, Marembe? Hello, my name's Peter, I'm founder of Marembe Rum. Just like to say hello from the Birmingham Rum Festival. Right, can you, can you take us through your rum? Tell us a little bit about it. So it's the only British spice red rum ever been produced. Um, from, the U from a UK manufacturer. Um, unlike traditional rums where they're flavoured and coloured with caramel, we use the Jamaican hibiscus flower, sorrel and cherry, given its very unique colour. This is Parley Ultra Black Rum. It's ultra black in a bottle, but it pours deep ocean blue. I'll just show oh, you. What about this? So, there you go. It's super smooth, super sweet. It's infused with cherry, vanilla, tangerine and raisin. Uh, it's a brand new rum, it's just launched in July. That's good gear up. Okay. You can buy it online at parleyrum.co.uk. Uh, yes, I'm Michael Down. I'm one of the founders of Manchester Still. We're a new distillery that's opened up in the heart of Manchester. Um, basically, everything we do is a, a locally sourced rum. Uh, even our sugar comes from locally sourced beetroots and potatoes, things like that. Everything we do is in the UK. It's all done city centre. Um, we're a brand new company, actually. This is only, we've only been selling for 10 days. Hey, I'm Paul from Clovenhoof Rum here at uh, Rumfest in Birmingham. Uh, we're the extreme spice rum on the market. The devil made us do it. We're not your normal vanilla flavoured corporate Kraken, Red Leg, Sailor Jerry Muck. I don't like to slag off the uh, competition, but why not? They're not here, and I am. So keep it cloven and raise the hoof. Is that something special? Oh, hey, that. That is nice. Hey, John John Davis. John Davis, this is good. Where are you based? 
Uh, down in, we launched down in Brighton in, in November, and we're growing rapidly from there. So, our store, Beechcraft Spirits. So oh, Beechcraft Spirits. Here we go. When, when was the last time you spoke to us? You spoke to us uh, late in 2016. Yeah, I. Doing our crowdfunding. Yeah, I interviewed uh, David and Lara for my radio show. We've come down to. Uh, to the Rum Festival and we've brought along some of our merchandising and we're just chatting to everybody about our products so what we're going to be doing unlike some of the others here is re uh, releasing with three rums so we're going to be releasing with a spiced which is going to be very kind of mildly spiced with a kind of cinnamon clove vanilla yeah but we're going to re really kind of pairing it up with uh, citrus flavors orange lemon grapefruit chucking a bit of pineapple in there just to kind of get the excitement going in yeah. terms of the kind of freshness flavors which is few and far between here as in there is not a rum that will smell like the rum that we're going to be producing yeah, yeah. No, so no, no, it's going to be good mate it's we've got good. that we're going to be also producing another spice rum which is going to be our intense rum which is going to be similar flavors in terms of the citrus but pairing that up with the coffee and also licorice oh, sounds nice yeah and again just we're going to re launch something as well a kind of summer easy drinking so we're going to be doing a slow rum which is going to be not overly sweet not syrupy but still sweet enough to appeal to people but very enough so it just really gets enjoyable it is using local suppliers so uh, this comes from a local uh, glass uh, distributor up in Elgin what we've done is rum stones which is pieces of granite obviously local sourced uh, to our distillery up in Scotland and they're lumps of granite that you'll put in your freezer. They will chill down to kind of frozen temperature, so minus 20. And then you, you pop two of these into a glass and then that will chill down your drink without diluting it. So therefore you get all the flavor and a cold drink, but it's not going to be diluted by the melting ice. So uh, coming to a, another rum festival near you soon, it's going to be our launch. So we're going to plan on launching Beechcraft Spirits at one of these events. So every event please feel free come along check us out on our website check us out on the uh, the rum festivals website and then it'll tell us when you're when we're launching we have a bar over there which is has over 100 rums right uh so if you want to kind of could, a, that, that could get messy couldn't it 100 it rums am, look at him here come here come here say hello you're on facebook hello thank you yeah. um for embarrassing me cheers yeah. Yeah, what's that's your name? great what's your name? oh no need for that <laughs> <laughs> Hey, you embarrass yourself, mate, dressing like that. Don't blame me. <laughs> I've just got the camera. Look at that. Woo. Hey, you got, yeah, you. You live on Hello. Facebook, mate. Uh, live on West Village Jet Center. Yeah. We cook it the original way with traditional herbs and spices, yeah? Oh, check man. it out, check it out, man. Man, that smells gorgeous. I'll be take, coming back take, later. Look at that. Oh, yeah, look at the cleaver. Oh, the cleaver. Yeah. Thank you, man. Enjoy the rest of the day, guys. The smell is phenomenal. Welcome. <laughs> Thank you. Thanks. Would you like to introduce yourself? Uh, yeah, my name's Lucy. Um, I have organised uh, a UK travelling rum festival, and this weekend we're in Birmingham. So I'd worked in events for a long time and worked in pubs and bars and things, and my spirit of choice has always been rum. I've been to beer festivals, I've been to gin festivals, but there wasn't ever a rum festival. So we thought, right, let's set up a rum festival. And let's bring it to Birmingham. Yeah, it's, I mean, I've just been, like I say, I've just been round with David uh, from Beechcraft Spirits, and we've had a. I'm driving, so I can't drink much. So, I've, just, I've had little, little flavour taste of the rums, and the difference in the flavours, and the, they're not just the rums that people think of the harsh you know the nasty stuff it's really nice isn't it yeah absolutely we think rum's the most versatile spirit um, for me you go everything from your white rums that you can have in a mojito or a cocktail to spiced rums which we're seeing more and more of on the high street right the way through to the real classy rums that are uh, even like the whiskey drinkers we think we can convert so there's a real good choice and we've got some great exhibitors here we've got some of the newest rums on the market including Beechcraft who you've just mentioned yeah it's good I mean there's some really like I say tasty so and what I like what you've done as well you've not just brought the rum to it you've brought the whole feel to it we can hear a steel band in the background there's a guy cooking for you know uh, traditional chicken on a barbecue it's wonderful and there's a band going to start shot isn't it absolutely yeah we've got a cuban band starting about five minutes yeah it's a real caribbean festival so caribbean and cuba are the home of rum and we wanted to bring the whole package so you can come here spend the afternoon taste some awesome rums and just have a great time it is the rum party yeah so after after birmingham where are you going next 
So we've got three weeks break and then we're heading to Sheffield, then up to Newcastle. Then we're going down to the east, we're going to Norwich and then up to Scotland. So we're taking the Rum Festival up to Glasgow and Edinburgh, the Scotland's first Rum Festivals. Excellent. I like Edinburgh. I've only been a couple of times, but one was there a few weeks ago. It was wonderful. So when, where do people find out about it? Because obviously, you know, you've met, you mentioned when they're going to be and where they're going to be. So where can people get more detail? So we, we use social media a lot, as does most people. So we're at Rum Festival UK and we're on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. So you'll see us on all of those. We've also got a web page. It's therumfestival.co.uk. So pretty easy to remember. Um, and you can also have a look on Eventbrite. That's who we sell our tickets through. So if you are looking at getting tickets, have a look on there. That's wonderful. So thanks very much. And let's get back to the party and wait for the uh, band to start. <laughs> Brilliant. Thank you very much. Enjoy your afternoon. Cheers, thank you. So that was the rum festival, absolutely wonderful, some really nice rums there, so check it out, I think they're going, I interviewed the uh, organisers, they're going to Sheffield, Glasgow, uh, Edinburgh, so yeah, it's, uh, it's pretty good, anyway, check out.